I am going to try and keep this one short because my last video I rambled on for ages and I'm really hungry and my friends coming around and as much as you guys worship me, I am pretty sure that no one worships anyone that much to listen to me talk on and on and on for so long. Okay, so, um, something that uh, Greedy Princess L and also one of my new slaves, someone called Nate, both mentioned is the etiquette between subs and doms. Um, Elle wanted to know my feelings on a, a doms approaching subs um, as opposed to subs approaching doms for servitude and Nate wanted to know just general tips about how to approach a dom. Um, okay so without further ado, um, Elle, I always prefer to let the subs approach me. I don't approach them just because I don't know, I feel like if they approach you, they're possibly more genuine because they've taken the time to like read your tweets and follow you and stuff like that. And also just because it feels a bit more submissive if you're approaching them, it, it like it puts them in control because then they have the choice whether to respond or like what to say and stuff. So yeah, I just always let the subs approach me. Now on to Nate's question, which is an interesting one. Um, I can't answer for all doms. Every single dom is different. And um, even just going down my Twitter timeline, everyone is different. Some people want to be approached with loads of cash before they'll even say hello. And some will say hello and speak to you and, you know, for ages before they even want a little bit of money. And everyone is so different. So I, I can only talk about me. Um, so I'm going to give you some what to do and what not to do tips. What not to do um, is approach me and ask me if you can serve me if you are doing the same thing to a million other doms because whenever someone messages me or tweets me saying can I serve you I always the first thing I do is go on their Twitter profile and if they've literally like copied and pasted the same message to 500 different girls it's like come on really really <laughs> um and it's just the same I just don't like that phrase can I serve you because it's like probably not <laughs> you know if I'm in a bad mood I will just be like no um just because it I don't know it's like it's so impersonal um it doesn't say that they've they know anything about me it doesn't say that I'm special in any way and it doesn't kind of say anything about them either it's like I need to know you as well and I need to know your fetishes too so yeah that's just a bad one um people and I don't know if this is just me because I, I do have an English degree but people with bad grammar like if you write to me in text speak like the number two and the letter u and stuff like that and it's just illegible I'm like no because one you're retarded and two we cannot have a long-term relationship whereby we're typing to each other if that's how you type just nah no um what to do um first of all just speak like a human being so in sentences and be polite you know I, I much prefer the people that say hello miss how are you today rather than the people that are like can I serve you you know it's like just come on talk to me like a human <laughs> um, so yeah if people just are polite and ask how I am and you know if they do it quite regularly maybe before asking to serve me if they if they reply to my tweets for a few days or a few weeks so that they're in my periphery and I, I'm aware of them and then so when they eventually message me I'm like oh yeah I know that you've been following me I know that you genuinely seem to like me and you like what I say so that that puts you in good stead um secondly um, I like someone, I don't like someone who just asks if you can serve me because 
I mean, what I prefer is someone either one in one session and then that eventually leads into servitude or someone that just wants to get to know me for that to lead into servitude. You can't just be someone's slave like that, you know? So I prefer it if someone would say, oh, hi, how are you? Um, I'm just introducing myself. I am a fan of foot worship. Could I possibly have a foot worship session with you? And then I'll be like, yeah, sure, if you can pay. And then, you know, after the session, then we'll get to know each other more. And it might turn into something more long term. It might not. Um, if you do genuinely want to go straight into servitude, then I would say, tell me about yourself, first of all. You need to make it more personable, you know, you need to make it, you know, I am sorry, my friend's due and my phone has just gone off. No, it's Twitter. You need to make it more personable. So you need to say, oh, this is me. This is how old I am. This is my experience. These are my fetishes, um, et cetera, et cetera. This is what I don't like. And this is the kind of arrangement that I'm looking for. And then I want you to tell me why you chose me. There's so many doms out there. You know, so many doms with more experience than me, so many are thinner than me, or prettier than me, or funnier than me, or whatever, you know, you can never be the best at everything. And so I want you to tell me what it is about me that made you message me. So when I get emails or messages, and the guy has been very open with himself and his experiences, and he's been very flattering of me, but in a personal way, I'm definitely inclined to speak to that guy and to make myself available for that guy. If you just message me loads of shit like, you're a goddess, I love you, even though I've never spoken to you, then I'm just gonna not even bother reading all of it because it's like, no you don't, don't be so fucking insincere. On that note, I love a guy that's sincere about his finances. If, if you approach me straight away and say, look, this is what I want, I'm going to be honest, I can only afford to tribute £20 a week. That's fine. As long as it is consistent and as long as you're honest, that's fine. You know, some people don't have enough money to spend loads and loads and loads on domination. And that's fine. Just be honest. Don't say that you want to be a financial slave and then only tell me three weeks down the line that actually, yeah, you're really poor. <laughs> tell me at the start. It's fine. In fact, pretty much all of my slaves only tribute little bits when they can afford it. You know, I don't, at the minute anyway, I don't have anyone that's really rich that's chucking hundreds of pounds at me, so it's fine. Just whatever you can give is fine. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, with regards to tributing before you speak to me, Obviously, it's preferable because as soon as someone speaks to me, even if they seem genuine and funny and even if I really enjoy indulging the fetishes that they have, there's always that thing in the back of my mind, until they've sent me some money, even if it's five dollars, until they've sent me something, I'm always going to be like, hmm, you could be a time waster. So if someone tributes me a bit of money before they even approach me, that straight away puts them to the top of my list of who to reply to because I think, yes, you're serious. I mean, you, Nate, yourself, um, you actually attributed me randomly like $5 and I think it was $5 anyway. And even though it wasn't much, it caught my eye because I was like, okay, this guy, because a true time waster will not even separate with, you know, one cent. So the fact that you'd actually been prepared to separate with five dollars, I was thinking, okay, this guy is not actually like a massive time waster. And it worked in my favour because now you have gone on to buy more videos and stuff and, and benefit me more. So yeah, if a guy does send a tribute, even if it's really small, it is it's a good thing. You know, I've had people send me anonymous gift cards and stuff, or send me gift cards that aren't anonymous and they've just said, oh, you know, I've been reading your tweets for a long time, I like you, here you go. And that makes my day, that makes me so happy. And what girl wouldn't like to come home to, you know, Amazon gift cards to go shopping, it's great. <laughs> and final thing before I wrap this up, I'm getting so thirsty. <laughs> final thing before I wrap this up is just 
don't be scared, you know, come and speak to me. I'm, I try, I'm not a cruel Don, unless I'm in sessions with someone that really enjoys that. I'm not cruel and I'm not rude. I, I mean, look at me, I'm not scary. I'm not intimidating. And I have had quite a lot of people have sent me anonymous gift cards and said things like, oh, I'm too shy to approach you. And it's like, come on, just approach me. I mean, the last guy that sent me a 50 pound gift card and he said he hasn't approached me because he's too shy. And it's like, I just want to say thank you. And I can't because I don't know who you are. <laughs> like I sent a thank you through the Amazon like reply system and I heard nothing back. And it's just like, oh my God, like, don't be scared. I really appreciate stuff like that, especially 50 pound to someone that's never even spoken to me. It's, it's nice. So yeah, that's my final rule. Don't be scared. You know, the worst that can happen is that I will say, look, we're not a match. Our interests are different. Good luck, you know, go on your way. That's the worst that will happen. So unless you waste my time, in which case I'm going to call you out. So if you're a time waster, just do not even bother. The end.